Hey there, and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to use 3D Text Pro. Here we are equipped with an interface. Uh, we see we have a big button here that says start writing text. So if we go ahead and click that, we get a cursor that we can place our text anywhere uh, we want. Let's for time's sake, let's just place it here. Um, we can go ahead and see that there's a lot of options here. Uh, let's say, hey guys, how is it going? we see that there there's different types of font category so for this one i want to choose script and let's go with uh, sedgwick av now we're here and we can see that we have different types of text formatting so we could center this we could uh align this to the right uh, horizontally or the left uh let's just keep it the center for now you can also do strike through you could do check boxes you can have a numbered list a bullet point um let's see what else so we have different types of property here so for this one we have depth which basically just extrudes your text we have tracking which makes it more horizontally spaced per character and then we have leading which does the opposite so let's go through the appearance tab here we see that we could change the color as much as we like and we have hex format we have rgb and we have a custom color picker as well as a selection for material. For now, let's just keep this in smooth plastic and let's make this green. All right, I'm happy with the appearance, but let's see what else this does. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and spline curve text. So let's say I want to add three nodes here. If I go ahead and add these, now uh, I can see that I can select these nodes here. So one, two, three, but uh, let's say I wanna move uh, two. I want to bring it up over here. I can see the rotation is a bit weird. It's because you have full control as a developer. So you could uh, rotate this node and you could also rotate this node. And you can see that now it's actually rotating with it. Um, you can add more spline nodes. You can add uh, up to 10. Now with nodes, there's also an introduction of presets. So you could save this preset. For example, let's call it arch or let's call it green arch. And if we save the preset, we uh, pretty much saved it and now we can reuse it. So if I complete it and, you know, create a new instance of uh, 3D text pro. And let's say we go back to presets and we select this drop down and we see the ones we saved, which is green arch. Now we can load it and we have the same exact as uh, over here. Um, we could continue editing. We could added more we could save a new preset we could do a bunch more cool stuff so for now i'm just going to go ahead and delete this and continue working on this one so let's see what else uh, so this 3d text pro plugin also offers translation uh it offers live translation in game it supports a few languages it doesn't support all of them but it supports quite a bit and you can see on the drop down what each font supports and then there's also this property called auto target font which means basically if uh, a player uh, language is not detected to be supported by uh, the font that you chose, then this property will basically loop through every font that is available in the plugin and try to find the one that matches the language that is closest to your font. And then finally, we have completion, which you can optimize the text. Basically, it turns off uh, a bunch of properties like can't collide, can't query, can't touch, uh, a bunch of stuff that you don't really need and it helps with CPU performance. Another cool feature is that you could add emojis. Uh, so it, it has a full emoji keyboard, which means that any font that you pick, it will parse the emojis. Here's an example. I copied this emoji, right? We have the eyes over here. We see that we have a soccer ball. Um, let's say I want to add a pumpkin here, right? We have the pumpkin. Uh, let's say I want to add a thumbs up, right? Boom, please like and thumbs up. There we go. And lastly, we have this interface here. So let's say we create a new text, right? Let's say we go there. Now we see we're at the home page where we could sort existing text by distance, right? So if we get closer to this text, it's gonna go at the top. However, if we get closer to this, it will go to the top. There's a bunch of updates that I will be doing such as mirroring, uploading custom fonts, uh, adding more, uh, font types such as your regular bold italic 
thank you guys so much this was a demo on how to use 3d text pro this is the first version and we're only making it better and better and better from now thank you so much please leave a like subscribe make sure to follow me on twitter make sure to follow me on roblox and have a very good day